It's time for dinner. Where is she? I'll go check on her. Won't be a minute. Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this gal could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. So you fell in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof! The spell is broken by midnight. Mumir, things aren't that simple. These take these things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's beautiful. Well, just look at me. Well, you must help her see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you got to start by trying to make yourself look and be and seem a bit more presentable. Impressed with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above all, what? You must control your well, where is she? She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. Well, we'll see about this. Your, your lordship, your grace, your eminence, let's not be too hasty. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I am ordering you to come to dinner. Master. That may not be the best way to win the gal's affections. <laughs> deep breaths, master, deep breaths. I'll try one more time. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Um, pull, pull, please. <sighs> no, thank you. Fine, then star. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. Oh, what were we thinking? We would never be human again. Well, what would you have us do? Give up? <laughs> no, I like this girl. I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was being stubborn. After all, he did say please. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word. <sighs> Hello, my dearest. I hope the master didn't frighten you too much. He can be a little bit temperamental. A little? Hi, I'm Cogsworth, head of household, and this is Lumiere. Enchante, mademoiselle. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. I am a little hungry. Except that. <laughs> Well, you heard what the master said. <laughs> oh, pistache, I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine, cross of bread, glass of water, and then... Dugsworth, she's not a prisoner, she's a guest. We must make her feel welcome here. Fine, dinner, but if the master finds out, it'll be our next. Of course, of course, but what is dinner without a little music? Music? Shut
now. It's my first night in the Enchanted Castle. Well, perhaps you would like a tour. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Perhaps you'd like to give me the tour. I'm sure you know everything there is about the castle. Well, actually, I do, right this way. And here we have another neoclassic of the Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. Oh, Lumiere, I had no idea how beautiful it was. If only he weren't here. What's over there? Nothing. Nothing at all in any interest in the West Wing. Ah, uh, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. Perhaps, Mademoiselle, I can draw your attention to the shining armor of King Henry III. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Don't touch that! I'm sorry! What are you doing here? I know, but... I thought I told you never to come here! I... She stopped to catch her breath. Belle heard the low and menacing growl of wolves. Ah! One wolf charged Belle head on, and she grabbed a branch to defend herself. Suddenly, the beast leaped out of nowhere and pulled the wolves off of Belle. Belle took cover as the wolves attacked the beast. on his feet. Once the beast curled the last wolf away, he collapsed, exhausted, and in pain. Belle knew that this was her chance to get away, to go home. But as she looked at the beast, that hideous creature who saved her life, she could not leave. Belle approached the beast and helped him to his feet. Then Belle and the beast slowly made their way back to the castle. Hold still. Ow, that hurts. It wouldn't hurt as much if you just hold still. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't run away. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. You shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> just hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. See? I knew they could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon either. The rose is losing petals at an alarming rate. And I can hardly bend over anymore. Clearly, I think it's time we give them a little push. I have just the thing. What about we warm you two up with a nice cup of tea? Sweet and almost kind. He was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. But now he is dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before.
What's this way? I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up. My heart starts pounding. And I can't breathe. Good. That's good. Excellent. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I want to give her something. But you have to close your eyes. It's a surprise.
again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you something. What's that? A second chance? Would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me? With you? That'd be, I mean, oh yes. speak from... I can't! You must! What are you afraid of? I'm afraid she might... She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you will find the courage to take that chance. I really don't think I can do this. You can do it, master. I know you can.
happy here? Yes, of course. Everyone's so kind. Pots, the mirrors. Who is with me? Yes. I must speak from the, the heart. Is something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I wish I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything, anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Oh no, something's wrong. He's in the woods. I should, I should. Go to him. What? You should go to him. But what about? Bill, you're not my prisoner. You haven't been for a long time. Go. Bell? Yes? Go. Well, sir, might I just say, everything is going just swimmingly well. I knew you had it in you. I let her go. You what? I let her go. Why would you do that? I had to. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. That's it then. That should break the spell. It's not enough, Lumiere. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late. <sighs> no. your father. What? Don't worry. We'll take good no. care of him. My father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic about a beast. We no. all heard him, didn't we? Yes. The kids during the meeting no. great were like tugging on us. No. No. Gaston, you know my father's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if. If what? If you'll marry me. What? One word, Belle. One little word. That's all it takes. Never! Fine! Have it your way! Take the old man! Let go of me! Let go of me! Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy! Show me the beast! <gasps> That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh, no, he never hurt anyone! I know he looks frightful, but he's really kind and gentle! He's my friend! If I didn't know better, I'd say you would have feelings for this monster! He's not the monster, Gaston! You are! Oh, man. 
nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say your prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of her castle, and there's something to be terrible inside. He's a beast, he's a pains, he's a sharp one. Massive paws, give him applause for the feast. Hear him roar, see him foam, but we're not coming home until he's dead. Good and dead. Kill the beast! I won't let you do this! Try and stop us! Oh, Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you! No! I lost you once, I'm not gonna lose you! Gaston made his way to the west wing. Come forth. 